What's up everyone, Michael and Jake here at PAX West 2019 and we just got hands on with Luigi's Mansion 3. Luigi's Mansion 3. Oh yeah. Hello. Now in our time with Luigi's Mansion 3 here at PAX, we saw a new section of the game that wasn't shown at E3. The way they're describing it is each floor is a different theme, uh -huh. and this one in particular was the garden theme, so we're dealing with like giant watermelons. Explosive pineapples. Explosive pineapples, ones that bounced up and down. You got nailed pretty yeah, good by I one mean, of those. Yeah, yeah. Now we were playing the whole thing in co-op. Mm -hmm. I got to play Luigi. You have to play your man's Luigi. Luigi. He can't open doors, but he can go places uh, Luigi can't. Yeah. So there's a there's kind of a cool dynamic where the two Luigis, or well, Luigi and Gooigi can do different things within there. So they have to uh, almost rely on each other. Similar abilities for the most part, but like slight differences. Mm -hmm. uh, for an exa one example is that we were able to, I was able to slip through a drain pipe yeah. and check out this area underneath while I don't know, you were blowing leaves or something like hey, that. Hey, I can open doors though. So yeah, you can open doors. Are... Gooigi can't open doors, but the co-op was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I guess um, I could say that I'm sort of surprised by how much fun I had playing Luigi's Mansion 3 because there's so many variables, whether it's the puzzles or the combat, like between his vacuum and some of the other things that uh, Luigi can do, there's a really nice dynamic where I'm constantly doing different things at each moment. Mm -hmm. I mean, we only played about 20 minutes, but I did get a good taste of the different things that you can do in the game. Yeah, and, and we got like a good mix of puzzles and some co-op puzzles. Like one, one that I really liked is when I took the chainsaw and like blasted it with light in order to rev it up and I was just destroying the entire <laughs> yeah. room and then you got picked up by a vine and I had to save you. That, that was pretty cool. The movement's a lot slower and it's a little bit harder to kind of aim your, yeah. uh, like your so vacuum. That's the precisely. one thing I did notice, like especially because you have those fixed camera angles uh -huh. between room to room and you're sharing screen. It, it is really tough to know exactly where you're going to be aiming. Mm -hmm. Going back to uh, kind of the, the clever things that you were doing though, like you can aim the, the there's like a plunger attachment mm -hmm. and that can lead to some uh, pretty cool puzzles. Like we needed to break a, or we needed to bust up a bunch of watermelons. Yeah, big watermelons. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we can't like attach the watermelons to uh, directly to our vacuum. So we shot the plunger onto it and it has like a little rope at the end and then you uh, you attach your vacuum to the rope and then you start swinging it around. Yeah, or you can get heavy them. things and like smash. Yeah. yeah. Ghost yeah. busting. Yeah, there's a lot, <laughs> hey. Busting makes Luigi feel good. Oh yeah. But yeah, when you're, when you're fighting ghosts though, you just hit them with your flashlight and then you hit them with the vacuum you start swinging them around. That, that felt pretty good. Like, it's a little violent, but you know, it's just yeah. you know, ghosts are trying to get up all in our business and uh, they get what's coming to them. Yeah, I'm excited for that. <laughs> <laughs> So in brief, that was our experience with Luigi's Mansion 3. It's coming to Nintendo Switch exclusively on October 31st, 2019. Stick to GameSpot for all the coverage from PAX West 2019.